What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the final release on global before the start of the 8th anniversary celebration, which is on July 7th, roughly three weeks away. Now, before we get into any of the details about this LR Super Boo, I think one very important question that we all have to ask ourselves is, do we really want to be spending stones this close to the anniversary? And obviously that's a decision you'll have to make for yourselves, but uh, if you are at all interested in this Super Boo and want to find out more about him, then definitely keep watching. So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first thing we'll do before we get into his kit, his animations, or rather his banner, and all that stuff, is actually uh, watch his animations. So let me just full screen this here. I'm gonna pause my music as well. And here we go. Enjoy, guys. Okay, so there you go. Those are the animations for the upcoming AGL LR Super Boo. Uh, one thing I realized, like halfway through uh, this video, is that I should have just kept the background music playing because on global they usually don't uh, play the OST in the animation video, which is kind of weird. But the background music actually was the, I think, intro OST for the Super Boo. So. I could have just kept that going. It would have made a lot of sense, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, animations are very, very clean. He actually has some of my favorite uh, extreme animations, like villain animations in the entire game. I think his active skill especially might be my personal favorite active skill for any villain unit at least, just because it's like mad creepy, man. It's like super, super creepy and uh, that makes it awesome. So uh, yeah, great animations for the Super Boo. Now let's move on to his uh, banner, which is most likely gonna look something like this. Obviously this was the JP banner. There could always be changes uh, on the global side, but it's pretty unlikely. So uh, scrolling down a little bit here, we have three featured LRs, obviously Super Boo, along with LR Janemba, LR Super 17, and a bunch of uh, random SSRs. I mean, I guess Boo Saga SSRs as well. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven featured SSRs. Three of them are LRs. Uh, pretty standard for a legendary summon banner these days. Now, honestly, uh, when I look at this pool, it doesn't really get me that excited. I mean, uh, Janemba's still a decent defensive unit, but he's not like great anymore. And same thing with the Super 17. I'm not saying these guys aren't usable or useful uh, depending on the event, and they can definitely still be uh, pretty effective, right? But overall, they're just not like top tier LRs anymore. And as for the remaining four SSRs, um, there's not really much to say there either. Uh, they're fine, but not great. So as far as value goes for this banner, um, by today's standards, especially compared to, I mean, you can't really compare them to the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest for the anniversary, but since it's so close, um, it's hard to not make that comparison. 
Uh, yeah, this gets like a five out of 10, maybe six, maybe six if I'm feeling generous. So yeah, a pretty uh, mid banner, I think is an accurate description. Uh, now, of course, there could be some additional incentives on Global to get us the summon, maybe some discounts and stuff like that. Since it's so close to the anniversary, they know that a lot of people are going to be saving. But even with like a three-step discount or a, I don't know, three plus one or whatever, uh, I still don't really think it's good value, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's the banner. Now let's quickly talk about what the Super Boo actually does and uh, whether or not he's a good unit, because that's also pretty important, right? So, uh, starting with this leader skill, it's a Majin Buu Saga or Heavenly Events Category K plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. I feel like 150 is just really low, uh, at least by today's standards once again, so I'm hoping in the future, uh, as we get more legendary summon LRs, uh, they all become 170% as a standard, because 150 just feels like nothing at this point right uh super attack 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn causes colossal damage and greatly lowers defense and then the 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn causes mega colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them so of course if you want to use this guy for um super battle road for example or world tournament where you have a lot of enemies to hit you can definitely be very good on those uh, specific events. And his passive is activates the entrance animation once only upon entry, key plus five and attack and defense plus 120% for four turns. From start of turn, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 30% when attacking if HP is 30% or more, an additional attack plus 30% if HP is 60% or more, and then an additional attack and defense plus 30% if HP is 90%. Or more. Great chance of guarding all attacks and guards all attacks when there is a Majin Buu Saga or Fused Fighters category enemy launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack within the same turn that guard is activated, plus an additional attack plus 100% within the character's next attack after receiving an attack, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 7 and defense plus 20% up to 140% with each attack received. And his active skill is Revenge Death Bomber, massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and recovers 40% HP. Disables enemies' actions once within the turn. And it can be activated when HP is 60% or less, starting from the fifth turn from start of battle, uh, once only. Links are Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Majin, Infinite Regeneration, Fear and Faith, uh, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Exploding Rage, Majin Power, Power Absorption, Heavenly Events, Sworn Enemies, and Worldwide Chaos. Now we do have some additional calculations here. Uh, so, his additional attack boosts are calculated separately for a total of attack plus 546% or... Attack plus 318% starting from the 5th turn if HP is 90% or more when attacking, plus an additional attack boost of up to 886% or attack plus 538% starting from the 5th turn within the character's next attack after receiving an attack. And then his additional defense boosts are calculated separately as well for a total of defense plus 342% or defense plus 186% starting from the 5th turn if HP is 90% or more when attacking, plus an additional defense uh, boost of up to 818% or defense plus 494% starting from the fifth turn, starting from the turn in which the character receives the seventh attack in battle. So he can definitely build up a lot of attack and defense uh, as the event progresses and as he uh, takes attacks. Once he's fully built up, this guy can hit really, really hard. He gets a lot of defense and he also has the uh, ability to, of course, guard all attacks. Now, it's not guaranteed unless you're facing a Majin Buu Saga or Fused Fighters category enemy, but uh, you still have a 70% chance for the guard to proc, which obviously, as you guys know, I don't love the uh, RNG in this case, but at least it's 70%, which is basically as high as it gets, uh, aside from guaranteed guard, of course. So, uh, as a whole, is this guy good? Uh, I do think he's quite good. 
uh, do I want him? Absolutely. I think his animations are top, top tier. And uh, yeah, performance-wise, he's a, once again, very powerful unit. He's a very powerful unit. He does a lot of damage. He can get some really good defense. He has the guard. He has multiple supers. Uh, his active skill is also really powerful. Um, the HP restriction is a little rough, but not too bad. It's far from the worst we've ever seen for a uh, active skill condition, right? So definitely achievable. And um, I guess that's all there really is to say uh, about this unit. I think he's definitely a great unit. It's just a question of the timing of this release being very uh, poor, right? Because we're so close to the anniversary. So if I'm making a recommendation, I would definitely tell everyone to skip, not because it's a bad unit, not because I wouldn't want to pull him personally, but just because, you know, the eighth anniversary banners are infinitely better. And the eighth anniversary LRs, of course, are much better than Super Boo. Um, so it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense to be spending your stones on anything at this time. And uh, of course, if you're a huge Super Boo fan, uh, you're most likely going to summon anyways. So this is more just a information video for you, I guess. But uh, if you were on the fence about it, um, I was just say I, I would say skip it. Uh, if you have enough coins, maybe buy him with coins in the future, but that's of course up to you. Um, I'm not sure if he's really worth 500 coins, but um, yeah, if you really love Super Boo, then he might be worth it for you, right? Anyways, I say it's a skip. If you are gonna be summoning, then best of luck. Um, let me know how many stones you plan to spend. Hopefully not a lot, because you should be saving those stones for the anniversary, but you know, your stones, so uh, your choice. And uh, that's the video, guys. Hopefully I helped you a little bit in making your decision. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.